Custer State Park this morning. We just got here and we decided to pull over and take a look at the herd of bison that's here. <laughs> One of them's snorting, so we're not going to get any closer. We're going to make a quick stop at the visitor center before hitting the trail. Okay, this shows you the warning signs, okay? So we're gonna step on the first first one. Okay. Now we're going to the second one. Now we're going to the third one. That's exactly what the bison was doing that we just looked at across the street so we got out of there we stepped back Look at this as far as you can see. There's buffalo out here. It's huge. At the visitor center, they said maybe seven to eight hundred in this herd, I believe. Huge. Amazing. do the Badger Clark Trail. Getting ready to get started. I tried to go in here, but uh, it's not open yet. It's just after 10 o'clock, so hopefully maybe when we get back from this trail hike, they'll be open. This trail was named after a poet. Charles Badger Clark was his name. Mostly, I think they called him Badger. I think they called him Badger on a lot of things, right? Yes. Yeah, so anyways, uh, he was a poet and he did a lot of his writing here in the area because he uh, loved the solitude, the open area up the Black Hills. So just a little bit of and he History. built and he built his house here in Custer State Park. He built his house here? Yes. In Custer State Park? Yes. Is that his house down here? Yes. Okay. We're going to go maybe to that. Anyway, so this is where he lived. And he chose to not have running water because he said he could run to the creek and he didn't have electricity. 
which in these winters you wonder. Oh, yeah. But, um, he has a big stove in the kitchen that probably helped warm it up. What year did he build build this? Let's see. Um, he died in fifty eight. Yeah, you're good. I was gonna say fifty seven, <laughs> but it might be fifty eight. So he was here um, around twenty years. Okay. So he built it. You know, it was a process. We're on Needles Highway on Needles Scenic Drive right now, right? Yes, it's a scenic yeah. drive. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, very pretty. I'm sure the motor fits right here. So for sure, the motorhome went through <laughs> here. <laughs> Needles Eye Tunnel. The Needles Eye Tunnel that we just came through. This is the Sylvan Lake day use area. We decided to stop here for a minute. Thanks for hanging out with us today and if you like the video make sure you hit that like button stay tuned for more south dakota adventures to come we'll catch up with you later bye